Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG, back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to show you guys how to stream while sim racing, which brings a few unique problems that you may not get when streaming other games, especially as we're using a wheel, we're using the shifters, we're making up a lot of noise and stuff we don't want to get caught up front in a microphone. So I'm going to show you guys how to deal with situations like that and your best stream settings for what you're doing. So let's get stuck into the video. So guys, first things first, we're going to be setting up our scenes. Um, and this is just sort of to make sure your stream is in the correct order. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to come over here and create a start. This is just basic knowledge. And I'm, I'm bearing in mind that most of you should know how to use OBS to some degree. So this will be your start screen. That's the first scene that I would normally set up. Then I will go to maybe a intermission which is normally where I talk to my chat. So you set up your intermission screen. Boom. Then you want a, especially for sim races, you want a setup screen. Maybe separate from your intermission. This is where you're in your setup. and Maybe you don't want to give away all the good details of what you're using to uh, go so quick. So um, at the end of that, an end screen. There you go. Boom. So now you sort of have your organization done. Let's remove the, the original scene. So you've got your start screen, your intermission, your setup screen, and your end screen. So this is mainly the things that you need. Um, so of course, for your start screen, you're probably going to want sort of a maybe an image or whether you have a, a video um, you want to play for the start of your, your stream. I'm going to find myself an image. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure I can find it on computer. If I just go to maybe stream graphics that I've created in the past. There we go. And let's use this one that I created some time ago. So boom, that would be my start screen. And normally I'd also add maybe go to media source. Add a bit of music, put it on loop. Um... And we basically just, just look for any sort of, you know, royalty-free music that you have on your computer. Um, me, I make my own beats, so I'm chilling. I can just go to stream music, beats for streams. And this folder is something that I will be selling very soon, where you can get royalty-free beats that you can play on your stream and don't have to worry about any problems. So we'll press OK, and then you'll see the music playing in your media source while this starting screen is up. So that's basically what I'd have for a starting screen. Um, you want it as well, depending on how you want your, your stream to look, how nice you want it to look. You kind of want to keep everything sort of, you know, coordinated. So don't have a starting screen that has sort of this color coordination and have something totally different for your intermission and your end screen because it looks a little bit on the tacky side. So let's go to intermission. Oh, we forgot the, we actually forgot the main source. My bad. We forgot the main one, which is your main screen, which is where you're going to be playing your games at. How could I forget that? So we'll type that one in and we'll move it up the list. Normally I have it um, just above my setup screen. So that's the main screen where you will have the game on. So that's our start screen. Um, intermission, we'll find another image maybe. Um, boom, let's browse again. Documents, stream graphics. Do I have an intermission screen? Um, we'll just use this, maybe, as our intermission. Um, and then the main screen is where you're gonna wanna have your game capture. So this is where you're gonna wanna have the actual game. So we'll go to game capture, load it up, click on capture any full screen application. I use capture Pacific window. Then you click on the window part and you'll see AC2, which is ACC. Boom. There you go. And that'll be your, your main game. So obviously when you want to click to intermission, then back to your main screen, your start screen. So as you can see, everything is coming together already. Um, setup screen, um, normally, you know, if you want to, some people just use their intermission. I tend to be a little bit extra. Um, 
and I, you know, I can't remember where I put my my setup screens there. Sort of all over the place. I believe maybe I might have left a lot in. Did I leave it in Darkings folder? Maybe I did. So you can see, for instance, you know, got a darking setup screen here. Um, and you'll just put an image like this while you're setting your car up. Maybe put an image like this in here to let people know you're actually making changes to your car. Not to, you won't be too long because they know you're doing a setup. So people don't tend to leave your screen. Sometimes if you just leave up there, the intermission, they don't really know how long you're going to be. So it might, you know, make people jump off of your stream or whatnot. But with a setup screen, people know you're just making changes. So it's all good. But anyway, main screen is where we're going to focus. End screen is, you know, pretty simple enough. You just want to make another image or buy an image or download the image where you can just have a simple stream ending and probably want to put some more music on that as well. Same steps that you'd have to take before. Um, you just click on media source. Here we go, media source, and then OK, loop. You go to browse on your computer and wherever you have your royalty free music, um, especially if you're streaming on YouTube, you're going to need it. Um, my stream music is right here. Again, I go to my own folder and just throw in any song and then you'll see the media source playing so you'll know at the end of your stream that music will be playing while this screen is up so you've got the basics done already and now we are going to go on to the main screen which is pretty important and one thing you, you guys um a lot of people you know take for granted is your 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 vocals your vocals are so important in your stream how your microphone sounds and with with sim racing a lot of it is um it's very unique because at the same time we're talking we are you know pressing our gear shifters we're turning our wheel you don't want to hear all the cracking and creaking of your wheel while shifting and stuff like that it can become very noisy in your stream and it can become overbearing so i'm going to show you guys how to sort that stuff out but you're going to need a few outside plugins to do so and i will leave the description for all of those in the chat below in the comment section um just plugins that you know you might want to download you can sort of you know get rid of a lot of the background noise through obs itself but i tend to use other things as well especially to boost my mic quality just to make things sound a little bit more professional um a little bit better so anyway let's get stuck into your actual video settings so let's go over to settings um and i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna do this as if you're streaming on twitch because a lot of people do stream on twitch um if you are if you do have a um nvidia graphics card i use nvidia nvenc new um because i'm this is basically set for youtube but we're going to switch it around if you're streaming on twitch depending on how good your connection is i'm going to you know, I'm going to go out and say you have a decent connection. So I'm going to run this at about 6,000. You can't go above that. Um, otherwise, it will just begin to lag. Okay. Um, I've got max quality, high, um, look ahead, and psycho visual tuning. I actually have max B frames on four. And that's because we're playing a racing game. So the background is going past pretty quick. You know, the, not the background, the foreground ahead of you is going past pretty quick when you're driving. So you kind of want that visual effect on um let's go to the video settings though and actually if you are on twitch i actually suggest maybe try streaming in 720 because the smaller your channel is the less twitch actually helps you in it it can become a little bit laggy when you try to stream in 1080 so i'm gonna go ahead and put that to 720 boom um you want to use lanxus 36 and stream at 60 frames per second apply now you can see what that's done to the actual size of the background image which is your game so you want to sort of fix that boom and this is because you, this won't sort of 
you know, with, with Twitch, what it does is it tends to make it a little bit laggy when you try and stream at, at a higher quality for, especially if you don't have a lot of viewers. Twitch sort of leaves it all down to your connection, whether it starts with your viewers or not. So you kind of want to, in a way, you sort of downgrade the, the quality of your stream just to get that smoothness. And 720, 1080, it's not a massive difference, man. But once you start getting up there, you can sort of stream at, at 1080 and not have any problems. But I stream on YouTube, I actually stream in 1440p on YouTube, which is one of the reasons why I prefer YouTube. But um, anyway, there you have your stream. There you have everything set up so far. Let's go back into settings. Um, so your video settings should be cool. Make sure it is on Lanxus because that is the best looking um, downscale filter you can get. And the most important thing for me now is the audio, Christ. So we already have our microphone set up to auxiliary audio. Um, your desktop audio is your default. That will be whatever your, whatever your headphones is, okay? My headphones is the speakers Logitech G533 gaming headset. Um, it's also my default um, audio device on my desktop. But if you want to be very particular, then you can set your desktop audio to your actual headphones just so everything is perfect. We'll do that. And let's go back into audio. Now, your microphone should be, well, me, I have a separate microphone from my actual headset. So I always think that's the best way to go. But if not, um, no problemo. Let's go down here to your audio mixer. And you can see if I'm quiet for a little while, you can actually hear my fans in the background. So if you can hear my fans in the background, then clearly you're going to be able to hear all the clicking of the wheel and stuff like that, which can be overbearing, as I said before. So you're going to want to go into properties, filter, and this is where the magic happens. Now, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff for you guys to uh, to download. But what I'll do first is I'm going to put in the, the basic thing. So you're going to want a noise gate. Now, that's going to stop a lot of the, the background noise. So I'm going to go and move my close threshold up to 38 and move my open threshold down to 23 and that should cut a lot of the background noise out also my attack time i like to pull up because i don't want it to sort of sound choppy i don't want the the silence to chop in too much so i'm going to put the attack time to 50 and the release time to about 250. now that should help my vocal sound just a little bit better in terms of um how the microphone cuts in and out and what I'm actually going to do here is um, I'm actually going to show you guys my actual stream settings. And you guys might want to copy it down um, depending on, you know, how your microphones sound. So this is the actual settings. So let me show you guys that. So if I go to game, these are my actual settings that I use. And as you can see, I've got tons and tons of stuff. So let's apply all that. Um, because I'm streaming on YouTube, my actual resolution comes up a lot different. So let's switch this back to my YouTube output settings, which are a little bit different. Well, not a little bit. They are very different. So <clears throat> for my YouTube settings, I actually stream, as I said, in 1440p. you guys can see here apply that and boom so we've got that back um so let's go to my audio filters and you can see i have a ton of filters on here all these these top sort of five they are all plugins to help your vocal sound a lot lot better um and they are definitely needed especially if you don't have a, a, a top quality mic is definitely needed but we're going to go into expander and try and get you to copy these settings as well between between this and the noise gate this is going to cut out a lot of your background noise which is very important um so jot these settings down and also you're going to want to 
copy the noise gate settings down as well which I sh showed you guys before so you should copy that as well and hopefully that get rid of a lot of the background noise that you guys might have um, it definitely helps me but let's go into some of these plugins again this is something that I'm gonna get you guys to copy I'm gonna give you the download link so you can actually download these plugins um, I'm gonna show you how to where to find the plugins as well um, so you're gonna to want to copy this um, you want this slick EQ on German it sort of boosts the lows in your voice give it that sort of more of a the, the podcast sound um, so that's the first one uh, TDR Nova again is another EQ program and for me because I do music I'm you know I'm a little bit extra so I want everything to sound as good as it can especially I'm not really using a high quality mic but you can make it sound a lot better than just the standard way how it sounds um, again this is not you know it's not for everyone maybe a lot of people might not want to go this far in terms of their vocals but uh, vocals are an important part of your stream believe me if your vocals are bad or if it the audio sounds bad it you know it's very easy to put people off now this is a i believe this is a free plugin wider in fact all these plugins are free but wider is a very quick and easy one to download and it just gives your 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 vocals you know more warmth and the the, the wider you have it don't have it too wide because it can sound a little weird but it just gives your voice more presence again pretty good plugin tau reverb um let me show you my reverb settings just a little bit of reverb on the mic again makes it a little bit more atmospheric and you're just going to sound better in in general with this but i'm going to leave all these uh plugins down below that you can use and you just load up into obs pretty straightforward um, and where you will find them is once you once you have downloaded them and installed them just go to plus and it should say vst times two plugin and that's where you press ok and it'll once you've done that highlight the plugin go on to please select a plugin and then i because i do music i have tons and tons and tons of plugins but you will see the plugins that you want to use you'll see them show up in the list and you just press them and yeah once you've done it open plugin interface and there you'll see the plugin right there okay but just remove that anyway and we are still working off of basically this is this is what my stream looks like okay so as i said that's my main screen you can see me now with my camera um i haven't actually named my intro there you go there's my intro if you want to get another if you want a dynamic intro like this you have to holler at your boy man i'll be making these intros and all sorts you can hear the the music playing as well um so there's my talking to chat screen that we have again if for your stream packages holler at your boy i'll get them done um my setup screen this is my setup screen for when i'm you know creating my setups for for people who don't want to show everything that I've got and then again I have my um, my ending screen as well so yeah obviously you've got more stuff if you want to get more technical I've got if I'm just recording the video I've got just for recording and normally I, if I'm streaming and I want to sort of show you guys something online or whatever this is just a display capture so it's just going to show whatever I'm looking at so that's something else to think about um, but again, you know, making sure you guys have got all the correct things set up. So this is the main screen. And now for my main screen, you're going to see I've got my game catcher. Well, I've got a few games on here. And that's just because I stream different games sometimes. So with the game catcher, you're going to want to make sure all your events, stuff like this, all your chat is above your game, your media source, which is my camera frame. Because my camera frame is dynamic, I have to load it as a media source, not as a image. My video camera is above as well. Um, also my alerts, which you can't see because no one's subscribed right now. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new. 
make sure everything's on top of your game capture. All right. Um, I'm going to assume that a lot of you guys know how to do the basic stuff with, like alerts and stuff like that. This is more for just getting your actual settings right. Um, if you, as I said, if you are on YouTube, you should try to change your output. Okay. So if you go to the video settings, if you are on YouTube, for me, this is what has worked best for me. Um, you want to try the uh, 1920 by 1080 canvas and the 2560 1440. And the reason why you should stream in 1440 is because YouTube actually does render down your videos after streaming. So there is something called um, AVC, I believe it is. is it? I think it's AVC one. And it sort of makes your videos a little bit blurry after you've live streamed. And because you're not a big YouTuber, it doesn't give you the VP09, which is sort of a much clearer image. But if you stream in 4040, it almost forces YouTube to give you a VP09 codec. And that makes your videos a lot clearer after your stream. So it doesn't sort of render it down, making it all blurry. So that's why I stream in 1440. Again, you want the Lanxus 36 samples, 60 frames per second. Okay. And... That is going to make your stream look a lot better. But let's go back. If you are streaming in... Um, if you're streaming... Let's fix this. On Twitch. Then you're probably going to need... Let's go to... Um, your video output. If you're streaming on Twitch, then you're probably going to need 720. Okay. I'm actually going to leave the canvas size. You're probably going to need 720 on your output. Um, let's go into your actual stream settings. Your bitrate at 6, as I said before. Um, you don't want to go above that. You can't go above that, actually, on, on Twitch. Otherwise, you will just be stuttering all day long. Even if that's a little too high, if you're still getting a little bit of stuttering, maybe put your bitrate down to 5,000, and it should be all good apply that there's many different things between twitch and youtube it's hard to sort of do them both in a in the same video because it can become a little bit confusing but if you are um streaming to youtube then when you do your your output settings i actually run my youtube stream on about nine thousand, right and the thing is with bitrate if you have very good internet, the higher you have it, the clearer your stream will be. You can't go too high. 9,000 is the recommended for YouTube, but in the past, I have actually run mine on 13,000. And that was when I was getting the best possible picture. But, you know, if your stream starts to stutter, then you are going to have to come down in this number, okay? So 9,000 is how I have it on at the moment. And, um, yeah, pretty much... The basics of streaming, man. The, the most important thing, again, is the audio. And um, I'm going to be leaving the link for all of the uh, plugins that I've got, which I use to sort of, you know, fine-tune my microphone. But everyone's voice is different. I'm also going to leave you the link for a video that really helped me get the best out of my microphone. So I'll leave the link for that video as well in the description. So I just want to help you guys get your main things is definitely make sure you get your picture right. You know, that's the very, very first basic requirement for streaming. Make sure the, the picture looks decent. And the second one for me will always, always be the audio, man. Make sure your audio sounds good. Make sure your voice isn't drowning out the game. And make sure your game isn't drowning out your voice. Play with your, your levels to just get it nice and perfect. You don't want it too loud. You don't want your microphone to be distorted. But at the same time, you still want to have presence in your voice when you're streaming, okay? Actually, before I go, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the vocals because I realized that the vocals actually you couldn't actually hear when I put the filters on so this is how I sound with no filters just you know it's not terrible but it's definitely not as good as it can be and this is what I sound like with all the filters on and this is how my voice sounds with all the filters so you can tell how much more quality it adds to the mic and to the background you can't really hear my fans you can't really hear anything you can just hear my voice sounds pretty clear and clean and hopefully you guys can use the same techniques that I've used to improve your own streams. As I said, we all started off, most of us started off on console, really everything was very basic now. There's a lot more things you can do on the PC, so yeah.
Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Script it TMG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And again, if you do want any stream packages, anything like that, hit me up on Discord or become a member on the Patreon and I can make sure I get them things done for you, man. But anyway, Cryptic TNG, I'm out. Peace.